Hi, welcome to my video on Find the Least Common Denominator of Rational Expressions, Part 2. Part 2, we're going to find the LCD. But what if the denominator, what if the denominators have a binomial algebraic expressions? Binomials. So we're looking at binomials this time. The previous video looked at the monomials. So we're looking at binomial expressions. Examples. A is 1 over x minus 2 and 1 over x minus 3. So the factors here are x minus 2 and x minus 3. I had to put in brackets because they're binomials and I had the LCD is a binomial, so I'm multiplying them. So the highest power of this one is a 1. The highest power of x plus 3 is a 1. So that's the LCD, the product of these two factors. And B, the factor of this one, the denominator, is 2x minus 1. And the factor of this one is x minus 4. So this denominator and this denominator has to be written down because they're both different. So the LCD is 2x minus 1 times x minus 4. Notice that this, denom this LCD has 2x minus 1 in it, and it has an x minus 4 in it. This denominator here has x minus 2 in it and x plus 3 in it. Remember, these factors are totally different, so you have to have each one. And C. This denominator here is x plus 1 squared. This denominator is x plus 1. So the denominator has x plus 1 as a factor, and the exponent of this one is a 1. We don't write it down like that, but there it is. And this exponent is a 2, so the common factor in both of these denominators is x plus 1, and the highest exponent is 2. In other words, x plus 1 squared, there it is. X plus 1 is right there. But it's X plus 1 times X plus 1. So both denominators are in this LCD. D, I have an X plus 2. So I have to have that factor. Over here I have an X plus 2 and an X plus 6. So I have to have an X plus 6. So I have to have an X plus 2 and I have to have an X plus 6. These are two factors that are in these denominators, so I have to have one of each. So even though, because when I put the x plus 2 here, that takes care of that factor and that factor, and then I have to have an extra. So this factor, x plus 2, is right here, and these two factors are also here. So this is the LCD for both of these fra fractions. E, I have a, and what I do, when I look at these, there's two fractions here, I take the first one, and I have to write down those two. I have to write down this one, because this denominator has to be in the LCD. Then I look here and say, what's over in this one that's not here as a factor? And I see an x plus 7. So, these denominators of these two fractions, I have to have an x plus 2, I have to have an x minus 2, and I have to have an x plus 7. So, are these two denominators, are these two factors of this denominator here, in this one? Yes, there they are. Are these two factors of this denominator in this LCD? Yes, there and there. So, this is the LCD for these two fractions. Not complicated, as you can see, but you have to have one of each factor, and you have, <coughs> excuse me, you have to have the highest exponent of that factor. F. Again, we have three fractions, so just think about it. I have to have an x plus 4. I have to have an x plus 1. So this denominator has two different factors, so they have to be in the LCD. Now what's here in this one? What factors here are not right here? So you see an x minus 7. x minus 7 is not here, so now I have three of them. And what's here? That's not here. X plus 4 is here. X minus 7 is here. So this is the LCD for these three fractions. And again, are the two of these in this one? Yes. 
Are the two of these factors in this? Yes, they're there. Are these two factors in this? X plus 4? Yes. So this is the LCD. This LCD has this denominator and this denominator and this denominator. Notice the powers is 1. And G. Now let's go through. Now i got to be careful. I have, let's look, notice now I look through, I see a factor of x minus 1. I see a factor of x plus 6. I see x plus 6 is already there. I see an x minus 3 as a factor. x minus 1 is a factor. x minus 3 is a factor. So I have th three different factors are here. There they are, three different ones. What's the highest power of x minus 1? There's a 1 there and a 2 there, so I pick up a 2. What's the highest power of x plus 6? 1 there and 3 there. What's the highest power of x minus 3? 1 there and 1 there. So there's the LCD. x minus 1 squared times x plus 6 cubed times x minus 3. Notice each factor is represented here with the highest power of that factor. And we check, is x minus 1 squared in here? Yes, right there. Is x plus 6 in here? Yes, it's right there, but there's a cube on it, but it's still there. x plus 6 cubed, is it in here? Yes, there it is. Is x minus 3 here? There it is. Is x minus 1? Yeah, there it is, but there's an extra one. And is x minus 3 there? Yes. So every denominator here is represented in here. And that's how you tell if you got it done right. You write down each factor with the highest exponent of that factor. And as practice means, pause the video and work all these out. It's very important to be able to find the LCD of the fractions. Because if you can't, you won't get the addition and subtraction right. So two fractions. The denominators are x minus 4, x minus 3. So x minus 4 is a factor. x minus 3 is a factor. I got one of each, so that's the LCD. x minus 4 is right there. x minus 3 is right there. So the LCD is the product of these two. Notice I, I don't multiply them out. I leave them as uh, x minus 4 in brackets times x minus 3. Number 2. 3x plus 1 is a factor. x plus 1 is a factor. They're different factors. I got one of each, so the product of these two is the LCD. Now, here, I look at this denominator and this one. Here I see an x minus 1, and I see an x plus 1. There's the different factors. Power of x minus 1 is 1 and 1, so there's only 1. So, x minus 1 times x plus 1 is the LCD. In other words, this denominator here is the LCD because x minus 1 is in this one. And we have an x minus 4 in both of them, so a factor is x minus 4 is a common factor. Power of this one is a 2, the power of this one is a 1, so the highest exponent is 2. Notice x minus 4 is a factor of x minus 4 squared x minus 4 squared is right here. So both of these denominators are in this one. So you pick out the factor, which is x minus 4, and the highest exponent. Number 5. Look through. I need a factor of x minus 7. I need a factor of x minus 4. And I need the factor of x plus 4. So each factor going through here. I got an x minus 7, I got an x minus 4, and I got an x plus 4. That's the different factors. There's one of each. And the highest exponent is a 1. So the LCD for number 5 is x minus 7 times x minus 4 times x plus 4. Number 6, let's look at the denominators. Let's write down the different factors first. So the factors are x plus 10. Another factor different is x minus 1. X minus 1 is already there. X minus 2 is not there. So these denominators have three different factors. There they are. 
The highest power of x plus 10 is 2. The highest power of x minus 1, 1 and 2 is a 2. Highest power of x minus 2 is 1. So that's the LCD. x plus 10 squared times x minus 1 squared times x minus 2. And notice, both all of these denominators are in here. x plus 10 squared, there it is. x minus 1, there it is. This denominator got an x minus 1 squared, there it is. And it also has an x minus 2, there it is. So each of these denominators are represented in here. Number 7, we have to have an x plus 6. We have to have an x plus 2. X plus 2 is already there. We need an X minus 1. X plus 6 is already there. X minus 1 is already there. We have one exponent of X plus 6. We have one exponent for X plus 2. We have a one exponent of X minus 1. So that's the LCD. Again, this denominator is right there. This denominator is there and there. This denominator is x plus 6, x minus 1. Number 8. <clears throat> so let's start. But we got the first factor is x minus 2. Second factor is x minus 3. x minus 3 is already there. Next factor not there is x plus 4. x plus 4 is already there. x minus 2 is already there. Now it goes x minus 2. Got a 2 power. And got a 1 power, so the highest is a 2. x minus 3, you got a 1 power, a 1 power, and so the highest exponent is 1. x plus 4 is 1 power there, and a third power there, so the highest is a 3. So the LCD is x minus 2 squared times x minus 3 times x plus 4 cubed. And all this denominator is there and right there. This denominator is right there and right there. This denominator, two of these, x plus 4 cubed, there it is. x plus x minus 2, there it is. So that's the LCD for number 8. So picking out the binomial LCDs is the same as picking out the monomials. You pick out each factor and then you pick out the highest exponent for that factor. That will represent each denominator. If you like my video, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Visit my website, www.mathfullyexplained, to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.